there is not in today's web application development to to na tayo so tick the seven ties of am and pm class to be number 7 ela ó meu povo ó vai ser bem não é não 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 só de lá tem vai estar na tarde lá só so share com o meu screen share com o meu screen até para tudo ir lá só na tem Emerging time na yun, di ba, sir? And uh, uh, web application development Web application. Ah, web application time. Yes. Web application development tool. So, lesson not in today is no, so. So, week seven and eight. Week seven and eight, which is to register. Register, sir. Yeah, register. Good morning, po, sir. Good morning, then. Yeah, so register. Last lesson on register. So under the register, we have two topics we will discuss today. One is account registration, and other is the forget password and email address. Yes. So open natin muna si Lesami, account registration. Naantok ako? Magkape ka muna. <laughs> Puro na lang kape na nasa tiyan ko eh. Okay, hang on. So, there's another today. Muna tayo sa module 7, C, account registration. Account registration is yun. Is yun gagot ang registered account or registered form sa dito sa web application and the same time, maglilin siya sa database ng dalawang table. Learning objective ng regist uh, account registration, registration, we will understand the concept of section variable, identify the syntax, creating, loading, and removing session in variable in CI, apply the commands needed, creating, loading, removing section in CI, and how to create CI application showing the code. Beautiful. So, until now, we never na pa natin na pinapasok si Codenighter sa loob ng ating sa loob ng ating nilangot na na ilang natapos ng ating record may pumasok pumasok okay so what I said now is di ko pa natatapos yun until now, never natin now. Nag-leaning up natin si XMPB na server to do sa load ng code nighter. Pero I have tried once already. Try once. I tried already. Try once. Mag-link up to code nighter. So XMPB has been successful pa naman. The first activity natin mula pre-no na I had tried. Pero yung second activity, activity never tried pa. Yung may nakalagay na aray. Never set set up. So once now, ko confirm ko na lang yun. Kung totally nag link up talaga si XMPP sa coordinator sa kaka share show yung video para mag pasok si coordinator sa loob ng XMPP natin. Yeah. So introduction muna tayo. In our last discussion, we discuss we learn about to develop login module in our website. Login functionality check the user match in the user table in his, his or her last username or password. And the question is, dito is how those accounts okay. get there? So usually, pag once nag register tayo dito sa register dito sa, sa registration form ng web application, 
usually it's like a uh, link up with the database if it's provided the provided by the web application natin. in this lesson we will learn how to create account registration module and insert the registered user from the user table registered account is mostly record the inter inter intersection procedure we know about inserting record but mostly registration inserting the account when someone create account occasionally we have to prove it with other email verification by the admin approval depender depending on the developer's plan plans to do nothing so every time you got yung agong account either so social media or sa email or sa any uh, web application usually sila inaka link up na sila sa database dito so like i said dito like i said now being a verified email is using by the email yeah so we have two sql table dito ginagamit one is the user table kung saan the user table has consists of uh, user id user name user password user level your customer id is approval or is yes or no and the primary key of the user id as discussed already before in this database management system too, the primary ID means a unit number or unit indicate a number from San Walasha Dapat Katulat with the other records. While the custom, we have the other table, which is the customer table, where the other customer table, customer ID, customer last name, customer first name, customer birthday, gender, address, phone, or email. Kung kailan na registered and kailan na approved, yun ang account na dito. And again, it's nasa, ang primary ID, a primary key niya is nasa customer ID. Customer ID. No. Customer ID. So, uh, so we have two table dialing the Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. So when the user registered, so continuation dial. So when the user registered, he's on data it's entered to two table data. All the all the personal information will go to the customer table, which is used for the for company and organizations. So uh, save uh, sina save to ng organization and um, organization or business company for uh, their personal pur personal pur purposes. While the ac user related information will go to the user table. So which means itong table nito ay ginagam ng for the company uses for the registration. And for the yung pag in natin, ito yung dito nila pinapasok sa user table. So we must observe the database normalization. Kung saan the database on normalization is the process of organizing nation column okay, nice. and record and attribute and table of the database and minimize redundancy. So for the word of redundancy, it may was and you may duplicate the record. So we will, we will join the user, the user credential with the personal information on the query called the primary key and foreign key relation. So on the long table is neglecting up with the customer ID and the user ID from the user name. So, so pag alam mo na gamit ng database, nuno na tayo sa code na parang Nagawa to sa code nitro. So, like I said last time, a code nitro hinahati sa dalawang uh, PHP file. One PHP file as to be naka output, and the other PHP file is maglolod from the server natin. So, mula sa dito the first file, which is yaka save sa loob ng application view. So, pakita ko lang ulit. So, so drive C, so the option of XMPP inside the HD docs na server, and then you see Golden Eater. 
So I haven't typed the code yet. Pasensya na. So papuwede ko lang sung saan pwede i-type tong code natin. So sa loob ng code native folder, punta sa application and punta sa use dito. So dito naman natin save save itong register.php natin. So, like I said, dito sa register.php under the view, siya yung pinaka-output ng, ng Codenighter. So, we have the title. Again, the title is nakalink siya with the PHP echo dollar sign title, which means nakalink siya sa controller natin, which is later papakita ko. Also, with the H1, is also linked with the title with sa loob din ng controller ng register.php. Then, dito na magsusumula yung pinaka-output niya dito. So, echo verification error, once the form is open, is registered or verified niya dito. Then, and we have the first output niya, which is personal information, which is using the paragraph and the emphasize, emphasize tab, which is used in the HTML. So, na yung mapansin niya dito sa dalawa sa... Mayroon siyang dalong echo label and the echo label form input. Label is used for the text o yung palang label niya and the input that is for the text box natin dito. Kung saan yung ID ng text box is equivalent to the last name ng last name natin. So, same same input name, name sa first name, we have the label and input natin. And dito sa, pagdating sa gender, the gender is yun, gender, of course, the radio button. So may yung radio button, na, may, uh, male na true, female na false. So pwede siyang paltan, depende sa, nag-run na natin sa PHP. So pwede mo siyang, Shake the female step the male latin. So by default, is naka true ang male and female naka false. Or wala siyang radio button. Or yung walang shake yung radio button niya. Next is the label. Again, label again. Yun. Birthday and text birthday. Which is the label ng birthday. The input type is day. And the text B day is text. BD and BR. So, uh, bali siya ay ang input type na rin. Then, same with the same with the first name, last name, uh, first name, last name, may label ng address and the text box for the address. Also, same with the phone and text phone natin dito. Okay, email. So, email, same lang siya. Email, text, email, the input for the text box for the email address natin. So, na yan, that nung nasa ito, may ito is personal information. Ngayon punta na tayo sa using for user account credential. So, tatanong sa yung username and of course yung password. Correct? Mostly yung tinatanong dito, what is your user, what, what, anong gusto mong username and ang, anong gusto mo na password. And then, Mapapansin nyo, may namabas na retype password. Okay, so tanong, sa tingin nyo bakit kailangan ng dalawang beses magtatype ng password? To confirm, sir. Hmm? Para i-confirm, sir, na... Yes. Confirm? What else? So, bakit kailangan daw ng dalawang beses magtatype ng password? Bukod sa confirm, parang confirm. <laughs> Verify, verification yes. para ano. Yes. yes. Yes, tama yung sabi mo na. Verify yung kung tama yung password. Kasi mostly sa dito sa kung lalo ang anti-type natin, technology, computer technology, using the computer. So minsan may mga iba is kung saan mo tinahit yung password, tinahit password, may na may nakasave na dati sa computer, niya-click lang nila yung nakasave na password doon. So, okay, ba tinatamad so. tinata mo naman tayo? Or, or, or minsan na, 
alam sa mong bilis ng kamay magda-type dito, minsan na may misplace yung type. Kaya kailangan ng dalawang beses magda-type ng password dito. So para secure and verify na parehas yung tinipe mo na password. So once nag-submit na ito, once na-click yung submit, so meron siyang button ng register and register button. That is for the view. Ayun, sa controller naman tayo. So registered view only form filter method from ATM form elements. When submitted past verification, the verified method to the registered controller. So we say being one, na click yung registered button dito sa dito sa loob ng view na registered at PHP. So ginagawa ng registered control is same lang dito. So so PHP class register is 10 PI in controller, public function, construct, parent, column, column, underscore, construct, then public function, index, and again, there is that word na title, tama? The word na title yes, dito, correct? Yes, sa controller. Ang title nito, which is equal to register, ay maglilink up dito sa taas yung nilagay kanina na TXP echo title. Kaya hindi siya naglagay ng word mismo dito kasi maglilink up siya dito okay dito sa data uh, data title register <clears throat> and then this load view uh, again uh, yes this load view this load view register and we'll look, register the data so once now run na natin tong dalong for yung dalong tong dalwa so, yes, ito yung magiging output. So, like again, ito yung label, sinasabi ko, and this is the text box in a government. Label, text box, then label a letter gender, and then you dito yung mga and true and false natin. So, by default, is naka male siya. So, pwede natin palitan sa female, if you're female, in the break day, Meron siyang verification, yung format ng birthday natin. This is month, month, day, day, and year, year, and address, phone, and email address, email address. user could account residential if it's the user, password, and retype password, and click password register. register. So usually, pag not type yung register, Doon na magsisimula mag-record lahat ng pililap dito. So again, doon sa, sa under ng controller, so meron siyang dinugdug. So itong code nito, bukod pa dito sa tinatype nitong unang registered to PHP, idudugsong pa natin itong code nito for verify method. So ngayon meron siyang public uh, public function verify kung saan magsetset ng rule with it. Text, first name, first name, required, and trim. So, what under the tong required and trim? Required is much ma, must be required maglagay ng particular form, sa particular field, uh, sa text field. And yung trim is tatanggalin niya yung mga unnecessary spaces nilagay dun. Yes. So, same with the last name, gender, birthday, address. Text phone. That you know, that, that thing's an email, it's a text email. So, email required, trim. So, because required and trim, you know, like I verified valid email address. So, back at you know, valid email is for later on the instruction. And the username also required, trim is you need again. Kung the word is unit, dapat wala siyang katulad with the other record in the database given. So mostly minsan, pag nag-type tayo ng username, pag tinatype yung username, sabihin ng form or web application or yung form, this username name has been taken, which insert a new one. So parang may wasan may katulad. And then here, dito naman sa password required, then Again, dito sa retype password, meron siyang required and the same time match with the text pass. So, balis the text pass, I see text pass with the password. 
Which means, kung anong tinay mo ng password dito, and then pag retype mo ng password, must be the same as the password dito. So, may na siyang if else ginagamit dito when if, dalong if siya, and then dalong else. So, if this form valid, verification is run, is true, this load model, registered model, and then is registered, is registered model, registered. So, for true, dito man siya papasok. If it's registered, the title become regist registration successful, and a message, please check your email to valid, but, but activate your account. Activate your account. Or else, kung mayroon siyang may nakita ng kulang ang pun na mali, lalabas na user fail, something went wrong and try again. Okay. So, kailangan mo nangyayala mo please your registration fail. Either may na-miss ka, na, na ka dito sa form or mayroon, mayroon ng existing na email address or mali yung type mo ng password from the retype password. Okay, so you don't know get, uh, get dito. Please check your email to valid type, uh, but activate your account. The verified method will form validation with most of the input required. The trim rule, again, the trim rule removes the unnecessary spaces. In line 21, we have the valid email concern resemble with the email format. Uh, email format is username at your at what the symbol, you know, so, uh, e email domain server and yung dot form or yung others nilalagay dito. Yes, of course, 922, use, you need to search other user user table if the username is existed. So, for example, may assisted na, mayroon ng assisted the username, so hindi na pwede yung gamitin ulit sa so, account mo dito. Of course, hindi lang isang tao gumagamit your same username. Maraming tao, maraming tao has the same name as you, of course. And the text path should be matched with the text, free text path, which is yung with type password. If, if the path informed by education, the registered method in the registered module execute, and registration status will be displayed at the view in the views and registration message. So, so, mayroon siyang dalawang account, which is another account only, which is another view na man file, which is registration, registration message. So, doc type HTML, HTML head, title, PHP echo, and title, and PHP title again, and PHP echo message. Again, itong dalawa, yung title message is na mention na dito sa verification which is yung may word and title and message so which means maglilink up ulit to sa itong, itong registration underscore message maglilink up siya sa dinagdag dito sa controller na register.php yes. oh may iba pala <laughs> okay so register oh. So, dito sa registered model, application model, registered model, kung saan pinasok naman siya sa model which is part sa database. Kung saan papasok mo na itong record na pinasok mo sa form, ay papasok niya sa record na database dito. So, public function construct which is build, build, build up na yung database and registered. Papasok na itong pinasok, pinasok mo sa form wala sa last name, first name, birthday, address. Uh, gender, address, phone, email, and kailan na registered. Registered to. And then each customer added, it will insert to the customer table for the personal info. And the user access array, username, password, they save me lahat. So user level is two. So depend on the label natin dito. So user level is either admin will become one standard user to two and the three for the guest user and the customer ID this this DB insert ID so database data 
is approved, not yet approved kasi sinihintay pa yung approval once ka click yung email dito. If user added this DB insert user, user access info. So again, we know if else only dito. If it's just customer added is true, if user added true, so pabasok siya sa true. True. Pag I did, one of them is naging false, automatic mo papasok na siya false dito. Na ano pa yung bakit nakalagay dito zero is approved is zero because minang siya pinapagawa sa yon na another function, another register, another verification. So regular check method will execute two insert. So one is the customer table and the for user table. It will turn true if the both party are successfully inserted. Otherwise, false. <coughs> So we have the disk DB insert ID return the auto increment and last insert ID from the query. So for example, we the sitting record we know some five the customer and five the user. So once na pasok niyong record information natin, tang six kana dito. Boom, masundan yun tung format. So usually pag naklik yung register, unang dalabas dito is Registration successful. Please check your email check to activate your, email, your account. So, bakit daw kailangan ng check your email to activate your account? Di, na, di ba pwede na log in agad after registered? Okay. Okay. So, reason kaya kailangan mag check your email to activate your account is because from verify kung ikaw talagang gumawa doon. Or sa you talaga yung email yung gumawa nun. Or hindi ka gumawa ng other email dito. Iba kasi mag, pag nag-register sa isang account, gagamit ng other email. Either gawa-gawa lang email or you know, gawa, either gawa ng email or gumagamit ka ng second account mo para ma makalagin ka lang dun sa particular account or system natin. So that's why kailangan Mayroon ganito mo malabas na please check your email to activate your account. We put the check. So the above figure was a sample output when registration successful. Successful, we put a check your email to activate your account message in the view assuming there was sent email from the controller to obtain the activation link. That is why it's here. Kaya dito sa is approved is zero is because hindi pa siya talaga na add sa record. So him mag-add siya sa record ng both the customer and user table once na click na click na natin yung registration link dito. So that is one of the first part or first part natin today. So Punto na doon sa second part ng lesson. Which is yung mostly, mostly, mostly comments madalas. Forget tao. password. Forget password and email yeah. pass. So that is the, one of the reasons bakit kailangan yung link sa email na uh, popter verification is para secure yung password mo na yung talagang pas, yung, yung password mo ginagamit. I mean yung account username din again. So module 8 we will talk about the monthly. So once you register smoothly after a few months times so or a few years later, di talaga may wasan no? Forgot password in the email class. So at, at this lesson we'll understand apply the concept using CI and using the CI up to illustrate functionality of the methods as two from CC, BCC, and subject metrics. And you stop use of email verification software. Okay, introduction. We have done with the account registration, the login page for website user. Uh, Sandal, make one minute now, five minutes. Yes, sir. Okay. Nantuk aku. Okay. 
Wala ka na nga mo, Ate B? Ha? Wala ka na nga mo? Hindi ba sila? Hindi oh. sila umalis. Di ba yung travel bubble, eh, ano, na-cancel? Ah, na-cancel sa sila sa Singapore? Mm-mm. Di ba yung travel bubble ng Singapore to Hong Kong? Hmm, ganun. Kaya hindi Sayang. na sila. Kaya... Walang umalis talaga na amo. Wala, as in wala. Kasi mag magbabahid ka na ngayon ng hotel na pag nag mm. ano, Hotel na talaga ang quarantine. quarantine. Kaya nga. Eh, ayaw nila. Siyempre, may mga bata. Hindi mo pwedeng ikulong tong dalawa eh. Oo. O baka maging dragon na si babae ko pag <laughs> ano. Yung maghapon. <laughs> Lilipad na papunta sa yung mag-dragon ikaw. <laughs> pag pumatak na nga ng alas dos, inilalabas ko na yung kambal. Dumumabalik na lang kami ng 5.30. Diyos, Lord. <laughs> Nabas na kayo lahat. Oh, dala-dala ko na si Bola, pang Sandcastle, at saka mga merienda nila. Kahit ang lang may gano'n, nasa labas kayo lagi. Mm-mm, Diyos ko, sa beach kami lagi. Diyos ko, kaya nga sinisipon ako nung isang araw. Diba, o, nagka talaga, kasi lalo kong araw-araw dyan. Nakaya ko may dalang kape, kaya nga sa playground pa tiyang lamig. Oo, oh, malamig sa playground. Nanginginig ka talaga. Lalo na kung nakaupo ka lang. Um, Ang alaga kong lalaki, ayaw pang mag-jacket, naka-chinelas, naka-short pants, naka-tish. Ay, oo, oo, yung mga bata, hindi sila nag- nalaramig. Iisip okay. mo na mag-jacket sila, baka sipunin sila. Hindi, takbo na. Wait, 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 I'm going to wear jacket, sabi niya sa'yo. <laughs> What's the problem, sabi niya sa'yo. Eh. Patay ka. There's no problem about it, sabi niya. naman nila kasi pag nag-ano sila, naglaro sila, ayaw takbo nila. Ng takbo ng takbo. Ano rin na... Okay lang, sir. Take your time. <laughs> May nagbabayad yata. Sa office ka, sir? Nasa office ka, sir? Mm-mm, tingnan mo yung, kung ano, yung, yung background, background. Di, sir, sa school. Eh. Hindi mo pa ba memoriado ang wall ng ACLC? Think naman yung kay mami, di ba? Yung doon sa office niya. Hmm. Lalaki si Sir, kaya blue. Lalaki si Sir, di blue. Pag pinky, ang delikado. <laughs> baka ano siya. I-check mo kay Sir Manuel, baka fank na fank na. Patay. <laughs> Check ko nga oh, mamaya. Magulo pa naman kausap si Sir. 
Oh, sorry about it. It's okay, okay sir. Yeah. Pasensya na. Kapit lang matulog. <laughs> <laughs> Pasensya na din. Yeah. Okay lang yun, sir. Mm-hmm. Ay, yan ang reason bakit niyo. Actually, may mga AM dito, iba. Nasa kapila. Hindi ko pwede malis dito kasi mukha mga ibagbayad sa ayon din. Opo, uh, sir. Uh, so, to lesson natin. Like I said, forget password. Hindi maiwasan talaga ng mo forget na password dito. So usually, so usually once you register ka and then yung nilagay mo na password doon, that will be yung naka Telegram registered. So like I said, hindi maiwasan na hindi maiwasan na mag forget password lagi. I mean, hindi maiwasan makalimutan talaga ng password kung wala kung lalo kung lalo na iba-ibang password ginagamit ko dito. So kailangan talagang click yung forget password na button. So, go, you know, go dito sa forget password module or self-service password reset or SSPR is defined by any process or technology can allow user forget their password or take their account reset their password without calling the help desk dito. So help, so help desk. We don't call in the help desk or tatawagin mo pang hotline para ng customer change of password. So dito hindi na kailangan. So ano may yari pag na click yung self-service password itself. So ginagawa niya, kung click yung forget password, tatag yung required na registered email address. So usually, yung forget user, usually pag forget the password, kailangan required yung kung anong pinasa po the registration si email address din. Then, so ginagawa niya, set it yung reset password link to the user email parang nag-same lang, nag-verification ng, ng account natin. So, once na click yung link, kung saan pwede ka mag-type na yung password natin dito. So, so forget password, papasok siya ulit sa user table natin. User table. So, papasok sa user table database for updating the shifting the password to, to change password. Then also save with the customer table. So, so hindi, hindi gano'n kadali mag-change ang password dito kasi the long table pinapalta, uh, the long table pinapalta mo the database. Not only yung nasa web application form, also with the database binabago din yung pinago mo password. You create can create one record for table for the user table which is using md5 encrypted value so yung md5 encrypted value is yon parang hashtag siya okay ginagamit sa whatsapp or sa yes whatsapp or sa so we chat a we chat din for example mag papasok mo yung bagong yung yung bagong phone mo dalagay mo yung lilipat mo yung contact mo sa WhatsApp and WeChat so ginagawa ng MD for encrypted value magsasend siya ng code para ma 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 transfer lahat ng mula sa old phone na yung may WhatsApp and WeChat lilipat niya doon sa bago phone mo dito so dito sa forget password control under ng controller so same lang din which is Public function. Ipapasok din namin yan, sir. Hmm? Ipapasok um, din namin yan. Long? Um, Young code. Ano, Ruth? Ipapakode din namin yan. Yes, code. Coding din yan. Yes, code na din yan. Then another coding ulit. Oh, so, forget password naman. Under na controller. Si controller nandito siya. Yes. Yes, dito yung si team. So yung yung nakita lahat ng code since hindi pa natin nakalink up si coordinator pero may folder na tayo yung coordinator pwede yung simulan mag-type ng code yung nakalagay dito. So laging tandaan if it laging hahanapin yung destination or flat yung destination or yung kung saan mo lalagay yun code minambang dito. For example dito sa application slash for controller slash for that password. So, for example, dito, so pumunta tayo sa folder ng coordinator natin. Click natin application. 
end controller, then dito ka mag-save ng file. Even di pa natin nag-link up yung coordinator sa XMPP, pwede yung mag-type ng code natin dito. So, para pag nag- para pag nag-link up na natin siya sa XMPP natin, pwede natin siya yulan na dito sa web browser. Hmm. So, ito yung code natin for under na controller na um, file name niya is forgot password underscore p password.php. So, public function underscore construct, parent construct, and the index. So, uh, data niya, so data title, in the title is equal to forgot password. And this load view, which is maglow, uh, once nagload na siya sa, sa so browser natin, ito yung lalapas sa kanya. Si forget password, which is mag-link yun. Itong title sa the other view, which is the other file, which is under him man siya ng application view and forget password.php. So which is ito yun. So again, meron na tayo makita ulit. PHP echo title, which means automatic wins na nakita natin dito. Ang title nyo ito will become forgot password. So, forget password. So, so once the forget, so magiging forget password, for each one forget password. So, open yung form, mag-open bagong form, which is the other guy, forget password verifying. Sato nang sa'yo, what is your email address? So, label again and text box for email address in the submit button. Then, but, so verification error, validation error, kung ilang beses ng balik ka ng type ng email, kung wala siyang makita ng shifting, automatic one error agad siya dito. So that is yung output natin. So this page required the email address to verify the user shifting in the database and where set the, we set the password link. Submitting the form, the post data will pass to the verify for the forgot password controller. So again, itong code nito is doodoksong lang siya dito sa after ng data, itong data. So bali doodoksong siya to dulo. So same lang din with the form the kanina once na verify yung, para ma-verify yung Pinipe natin email, so this form, education, set rules, email, email address required, trim, and valid email, kung makita ang valid email, and callback em check email. So, bakit ba may gantong callback check email? It's because siya check niya kung may sitting na, kung may nang sitting yung email sa kanilang database. Then, for verification of validation, so this form validation run this load library email. So this email from, so we have some email na is lalugan at domain.com which is pangalan niya is leon.tin and two, certain yung, so if mayroong assisting itong email sa database which is under the name of leon.tin mag-certain siya email to yung pangalan which is mjlalugan at domain.com and then ang may lalagay na subject which is reset reset password link to reset the password we click the link for the reset password natin. Kung mayroon siya kung may mas makita once nang send may lalabas sa message na reset password link send and click the reset password link to the email. And another, another way na verify to, and then create a command and forget password email sent view from application view, forget password email sent that PHP. So same lang siya with the kanina sa first topic natin. So once nang click yung lang, kung may makita siyang sitting na email. Golden 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 Golden
Yeah, so, yan. So, once nang set na siya, so, sinasak nila kasi kung may existing email yung pinasak mo dito sa enter your email. Kung wala siya makitang enter your email na existing sa database niya, hindi mag-proceed yung procedure. Yeah. So, again, ito yung validation pool ginamit. Required, which means still required. Claim, remove as necessary cases. Valid email, check the email format and callback. Check email, ikaw may sinong siyang sitting in the database na dito. So again, dito sa under the verified method, ba-add ulit tayo ng check email. So dito na, dito malalaman kung may nang sitting yung email tinipe natin, yes or true or false. So public function, uh, check email, dollar sign email, then this load model, forget the user, uh, forget the perfect model. Then if email is shifted, mag true or we access it na na siya email or link, we set password link. But false or else, sasabihin, check email, the email inserted has not shifted or hindi wala siyang, wala siya sa database dito. So again, the forget password model, application model, forget password. So this time, and dito siya sa load ng model folder. So model folder dito tayo, we'll go on a bagong folder ulit. So sasabihin is, RS, this DB, get where, customer array, customer name, email. And once to click yung, like I said, once to click, but verify niya yung email niya dito. So, dito yung lalabas, reset password link. Please check the reset password link sent to the email and restart your password. So, nagsasend na siya ng password dito. So, the URI format will look like this. So, your uh, domain that comes slash forget password reset and be scripted email. So, hindi pa doon natatapos yung ating coding dito for resetting password. Of course, once nag-reset ng password mo, of course, kailangan mo type yung bagong password and retype new password ulit. Kapara ma-update doon sa database. So, this URI segment, modified form validation set rules, that's pass new password required. At text, we pass we type new password required. And once the run, so, so once now uh, change when I bug password, we we'll up with a message now, password change successfully. You may log in using the new password method. So like I said, hindi lang doon, hindi lang basta changing the password, say so, same mula yung change the password doon sa database natin dito. So like I said, when the form submitted directly back to the set method and add for extendment, by the part one one. Both password for match the data password using the model, update password and display the forget password success view, not in data. So they are again my code in a gagamitin for reset. And then once na click yung, for example, na click na nating link from the email, so ganito na yung lalabas na reset password. The new password, retype new password, and click to change password na password. Once na click yung change, so automatically may lalabas na password change that has changed Change successfully. Yeah. So hindi pa lang doon natatapos na ating lesson. So usually hindi lang password na kakalmutan. Oh, thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Dami, no? Dami, sir. Um, <laughs> lecture. Lecture, yes, dami. <laughs> so, dito sa email class, hindi talaga may iwasan na sa dami ng email mo, nakalimutan mo yun, anong re-registered email dito. So, coordinator allowed us to send email to new Simple way we can load the email class by declaring load this load library email or include the auto load verification visit under the application config auto load.php. So, application 
config and yung config na huwag natin dito. Yes, dito ang yung mapapasok yung code yung okay. ano doon, sa dulo doon. Yes, so for example, line 61 daw sabi doon mo tatay, yung line 61. And the method, so look what the few method ginagamit. Which is from, 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 game, return email. So dito yung sinamanggit nila, po so walang existing na email. For example, mostly madalas tayo na pag nag-send tayo ng email, pag wala siyang existed, pabalik tayo, sasabihin na, this email is invalid. Uh -huh. Or in the system, for example, parameter from sender user, sender email address, name, sender name, return mail, email address where the undeliverable go, kung saan mo siya deliver, uh, saan mo siya dadan yung pag na undeliver email natin. So, like I said, for example, in the system email, so usually pag in the system email, mobile sa ating yung email natin. So, may dalong, so in the long sample dito, for example, is naglugan at domain.com and beyond the screen, or talagay mo yung pinaka pool change email niya dito. So, we have the two, two, and parameter dollar sign two, which is the shift and email address. Can be the email address string, comma, the limit, limit set. The limit. Email address string or array contain the email address string. So, to your example, CC, C, carbon copy. So, briefly, for example, the email, for example, the si, phone, yung two, is kung kanino talaga siya send. Yung CC or stands for carbon copy, is yung identical of the two method email recipients, which means yung kanino pong gusto mo send. For example, ang sinasendan mo isang 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 Grupo. company, isang company, and then siyempre mayroon siya mga codes o under the same company niya. So, pwede mo send ng CC. So, CC is yung parang duplicated. While the BCC, the BCC naman is yung blind carbon copy. Kung saan is yung hindi nakikita ng ibang tao. Which means, hindi nakikita si 2 and the CC. For example, may sinasend ka ng document, then gusto mong bigyan ng copy ng mga classmate mo. Pero ayaw malaman ng picture, no? binibigyan mo siya ng copy, copy ng assignment. Pwede mo lagyan sa BCC yung mga email ng classmate mo dito. Yes. So, which is high. Pero hindi mag, under ng BCC, hindi makikita yung nasa lahat ng nasa 2 and lahat na sa CC natin. Yes. And of course, very important new subject. And of course, the yeah, yeah, message yung lalagay mo dito. Yes. And of course, the send, kanino sa send, and sample. And the term code for putting in, sending email dito sa loob. So public function, send email, Helper, library, email is lagdugan, and then two subject message in if, if, if email, email is not sent, if sent, email is not sent or successful sent to email, email is not uh, correct, please try again. Then to able to send email, email library will be loaded, the email helper valid email, function will validate email format. Uh, lesson okay. natin, sir. We have finished our lesson for today. So, lesson natin today. Hindi ako so, ko nang... Oh, nakopy na pala. Ano yung yes, term so, quiz? Open ng quizzes. Hayaan ko nang open ng quizzes for today. Yes, wala na time limit for... Yes, wala na tayong time limit. Hindi ko na set ng kung hanggang hang oras ang sitwasyon na yun. Hindi naman pala sa Thank sitwasyon. Thank you, sir. And of course, kahit wala siyang time limit, I mean, wala siyang uh, expiring ng quizzes, pero may limit siya ng 30 minutes lang. So. Okay, this is sir. only 10 items now. So, can be taken anytime, anytime, for uh, anytime naman. Yes. So, sasagutin yun lang yung quizzes, quiz one. 
And kung gusto yung type yung mga code, binanggit natin for the long lesson. It's optional. Sabi, may question ako. Yes. Yung pag uh, nakod mo na, tapos i-save as mo siya, anong file name na pwede mong ilagay? Kahit na ano, pwede? Hindi. Kung anong nilagay doon sa sa given. For example, given doon. Uh, open ko isang module alin. For example is dito sa module. So, mostly meron siyang nakalagay na talagang file name dito. Yes, meron nakaset na file name. Kung anong file name lalagay mo. For example, dito sa unang given, you know, so merong so under ng view, so under ng application view, for example, dito. Yes. Oh, no, close ko na pala. Oh, no, wait lang. So, for example, pumunta tayo sa loob nun. So, XMPP. XMPP. And then, folder ng code night. For example, ito yung folder ng code night. Yes. So, yes. so, for example, sinabi niya dito is application view and register.php. So, pumunta ka sa application and sa view. So, dito mo siya tatype. Dito mo siya say save. Yung sa view. So, for example, file name nito, tatype is register.php. So, yung code nito, pang tatype mo na save, gusto mo na siyang save, susundan mo lang itong yun nandito. So, register.php. Okay, sir. And same lang with the others. For, pero, for example, yung mga ganito, for example, ganito. If mayroon siyang nakalagay add verify method on the registered method or registered controller, this means yung 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 tinake yung sa controller the registered, which is ito, dito mo siya dugdug. So, for example, na, na uh, for example, ang sinabi niya dito, uh, yung nasa line 14, so mismo sa line 14, katanggalin mo itong query base, tatype mo yun, code, na yung lang. Do, uh, yes, dudoksong yun lang. Okay, sir. Yes, and then ito, which again, nakiwalay lang siya, so dito yung file name dito. Yes. It's up to you, it's um, um, optional yun na pwede yung save na agad sa computer. Like I said, once na successful na natin na na, na, na link up ko na si code night or text and PP, tuturo ko sa yun dito sa class eh. Okay. Paano mag-link up? Link up pa lang. Mas madali na lang siya kung nakalink. Yes. So, so hanggang doon ang lesson natin for today. So, today, so thank you for... Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank, thank you, you very again. much, sir. Thank you, dun. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you, po. See you na na. Bye-bye. So, see you na next week. Uh, by the way, alam ko may Christmas party tayo next week, correct? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, then. Oh, yes. uh, Thank you, sir. Alam ko may Christmas party next week. Yeah. Oh, thank so. you, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, go yeah. ahead, sir. Yeah, okay. Uh, Dula na sa... Uh, alam nyo naman may Christmas party. Hindi pa ba? Christmas party. May nyo naman tayong Christmas party. Hi, Ney. Matuloy ba, sir? Andi, sir? Matuloy ba yung Christmas, sir? Tuloy yun. Uh, it depends sa kung may tutupad ang government ng bagong restriction. Okay, uh, so ano pa rin wala na siya? Um, kung ang government wala na tinupad ang bagong restriction, we will continue our 27 Christmas party. So, okay, for example, lagay ng bagong restriction ulit ng government, we will that we will confirm it muna kay ma'am kung tutuloy natin yung Christmas party. Okay, yes. sir. Okay, may sasabihin uh, po ako. Yes, okay. Uh, Isisend ko po sa'yo yung, yung inano kong program. Then, okay. in case na matuloy, uh, sir, pakiprint na lang po. Pero pupunta ako mamaya dyan kasi ayusin ko yung mga, ano, mga gifts. Okay. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, okay, sir. See you okay. later. Mm -hmm. So, like you. I said, we will uh, yung Christmas party is still 50-50. Depende sa sitwasyon natin. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. At yung sinaman na uh, condition daw dito sa COVID-19 is mostly the same daw critical as sa Japan daw. 
Imagine mo na umabot ng 8,000 without parang wala pang wala pang isang buwan nag-8,000 na agad tayo dito sa Hong Kong. Uh, dahil po sa ano sa dance so, cluster na yan eh. Yes. Yeah. Dumadami kasi ang cases. Hindi ba talaga may uh, So, kung maglagay naman ng bagong restriction ang government, we have to follow it naman, of course. Okay, sir. Uh, so, i-confirm natin kay ma'am kung haba nag-bagay, nag-bagong restriction ulit, o confirm muna natin kay ma'am kung tutuloy natin o hindi muna. Opos. Yes. Anong sayan din kasi kasi marami nang ginawa dito na nag-decor ng school, nagkagayak na regalo. So, so Sir, nagpupuyat na. ako sa program natin utang na loob. Ah, oh, program. Imagine mo. <laughs> Ma-injured sa akin utang na loob. Yes. Pinagpupuyatan oh, ko yan. Yes. Oh. yes. So, hanggang doon na lang tayo for today. So, hopefully, see you Malaya na lang. Today. Malaki yung plaka mong uukulit. Oo. Oh. So, see you na lang. Oh, puyat na puyat na ako dyan sa program natin na yan. Whatever happens. Yung plaka mo, hindi mo naman. Uh, so, anyway, hanggang dito na lang muna tayo, class. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, po. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, mga classmates. Bye. Bye.